Kairetu. I'm about to be wild in this place. Nipeleke na mutaratara. Nipeleke na tr. Nipeleke na mutaratara. Nipeleke na mutaratara. So today on Wilding Walk Wednesday, we are about to be wilding right here. Yeah. And we're just about, hey man, in conversation, I hope we will not get arrested or banned <laughs> from the house of the Lord. <laughs> When the Lord and Atakaga, how Alasemaga come ye unto me the way as you are. But I will not leave you. I don't think that's I will not leave you. I will not forsake you. See Anasemaga, watch our toto wide kwangu. They let all the little children. Are you a little child? Well, Akuna definition here. You have a spirit of a little child. Because we are told to have a faith or the spirit like for little children because the little children their faith is good anyway anyway okay moving on swiftly moving on swiftly so today on why i like that word wilding, wilding walk wednesday, wednesday. www dot koko ni uta jeshi mimi ile w unajua ni ile tu ya bb w Oh wow. <laughs> Anywho, ni leo wakuna watu wengine wa inch wale ta bibi yai nikafikiria ni big booty ni shiri ama ni big black uh, something ni shiri but uh, clearly Ai. it's breaking bridges initiative. Building. It's breaking. Building. You see that Building is that is the point. What initiative. has it built? I don't know. You will it just do your research if you want to go in that section. So today is triple W. Triple W. Let's get it. Anyway, so we are talking about is there anything mm-hmm. like casual sex? Casual sex. Yes. Is there anything? And does it have benefits? Shaka. Shaka. Na leta barindi. What new mizambavo? Hibaridi ye. Hibaridi ni mbaya. Tumejaribu gej. Hibaridi sio ya kahawa. Au ya Sprite? No, it's not. But anyway, talking about it, let's just read the definition about what casual sex is. Casual sex can be defined in a variety of ways and may mean very different things to different people. However, by large by and large casual sex is consensual sex outside of a romantic relationship or marriage mm-hmm. usually without any strings of attachment or expectation of commitment or exclusivity kabisa kwanza hapo kwa commitment and exclusivity and then it continues to say, depending on the situation, hey, the, situation uh-huh. the activity is also known as uh, hookups, uh-huh. one night stand, tricis, tricis, booty calls, like a booty call gone wrong. One time. <laughs> one or friends time. with benefits uh-huh. among many effus, effumisms. Mm-hmm. Now this is one thing really, really nice. Let mm. me read it. Um, casual sex may happen between partners just once or regular, often. Mm-hmm. It may occur between hey, close friends, mm-hmm. <laughs> exes, mm-hmm. casual acquaintances, yeah. and committed dating partners, mm-hmm. colleagues, or complete strangers, and might be planned or scheduled in advance or occur spontaneous. People who love spontaneous things. <laughs> <laughs> in essence, Ay. casual sex is a way of having physical intimacy of sex outside of the emotional, practical, or romantic components of love or a committed relationship. Uh-huh. So in short, casual sex is just that I don't there are no strings attached. Mm-hmm. Me and you, we can just be friends, but I don't want to be committed to you, so it's just random hookups. Yeah. So is there anything like casual? First of all, there's something like casual sex. Tusha, we have read we, it, yeah. facts say, and apparently it it kind of happens a lot amongst it, people. It is happening. It's actually happening. It has been happening. It has been happening. If you're watching Uncut, <laughs> remember to like, subscribe, share, yeah. <laughs> tell, tell someone, somebody. To tell someone. To tell, tell come someone. On. Um, so, yeah. Does it have benefits? That's the question today. Because this one, I'm so sure it happens a lot amongst the youth. And guess what? What are we? We are the youth. But, uh, yeah. Okay, so then you can say, you know, 
I feel like it it will sound a little bit uh, as in saying casual sex mm-hmm. and advantages mm-hmm. doesn't even sound palatable. Imagine uh, this article can argue wrong that there is there is advantage yeah, of Yeah, there better fit. Let me let me it. let me let me guess what they are arguing yeah. is uh, the advantage yeah. of keeping your sex life active. Yeah. Uh, it's a way of releasing stress. It's a way of releasing stress. It helps to reduce Kwanza, yeah, releasing suicide. stress ni just for men. Yeah. That is how most men yeah. think and feel. Yeah. That uh, sex mm-hmm. can reduce is a is a way of releasing stress for yeah. them. Yeah. Yeah. Atiyengi it helps to reduce uh cases of suicides and depression. And plus the latest song by one of our own boy in this in a side I'm to skufena baridi Hapo kwa baridi usiingie Hapo kwa baridi No for real that's they are actually saying the benefits let me even let me um let me try to get one potential benefits and drawbacks so they have they have both um so the pluses or minuses of casual sex are relative to the situation in question. Mm-hmm. There may be there may be potential benefits like sexual satisfaction, feeling attractive, or meeting a potential future partner. Through that you can meet you, I think husband. Iyo sasa iyo naweza kubaliana kidogo. Mhm. Kwa sababu hapo ndio test drive. Digithia go mama. Hapo sasa ndio test drive, test drive, you know? Unaona kaa gia iko sawa. Clutch umekanyaga umesikia iko sawa. Umefinya honi, umefanya fanya po 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 po. Umesikia honi iko chonjo. Ukikuja unafungua boot TV. Na unaona this is a big boot. This boot is big. Oh sorry, this boot is big. This is a good carriage. You go to unaenda unaangalia its fun, its dynamics you know he gari hii ni sprinter hii ni marathona Urali ya dai sitambu do bloody anyway Personally I think casual sex for me is a way of actually hiding the intent or the intention behind it because somebody can say we are just friends but we're just having casual sex you understand so we are just i want us to continue being friends but we, no strings attached so let me ask you a question yeah. who do you think mostly wanna fall araka i think the girl thank you i think the girl like you ume, ume, ime, ime kusumbua kutoa do i think the girl it is the girl see i don't no, think it because, is the girl because this is the case the guy this is one thing that i know about if the guy is actually having casual sex with this girl and it's just casual this guy probably is having casual sex with another girl a couple clearly another girl yeah clearly another girl yeah. if it's the girl if she's having casual sex with like a friend like you she is most definitely having another casual sex with another guy or probably it's not even happening it's just you are the person for the casual sex exactly like they heat up like yo I am at too. home niwewe eh. but the guy is definitely with other people so the guy apo emotions yake yeah, yeah, too Aziko, just, get in he, get out go hiyo ndio kazi yake bus. but there is an intent or there is a motive and i think that is the thing that has been corrupted in our society these days mm-hmm. especially in our generation mm-hmm. because if we literally want to have sex why call it casual Cause let me tell you, intent of sex from the word go intent of sex it was to make people one yes and it actually it even happens still today yeah, yeah so it. every single time you are saying you're having those casual sex with someone you are actually being your soul is being tied to this person Sasa, umeanza kuwa mdip no i'm just i'm just trying to you see hapa tumeambiwa ah, si atinataka uache kuwa mdip eh nirudi kwa level yako ya mode bloody no Flake. <laughs> uh-huh. All I'm saying is mm-hmm. you can continue being deep. Yeah. But a lot of people don't understand that mm-hmm. side of sex. Okay. Let's explain it to them. A lot of people mm-hmm. just understand the mm-hmm. way you've said it. Yeah. Get in, get out. Get out. out. To that most people 
that is why most people are like hey why 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 do you want to be committed mm. if this is just what you want mm-hmm. and if this is just what i want yeah let us just be doing it casually yeah yeah and i'm not your boyfriend you're yeah. my girlfriend yeah when we are here we are here for one thing and one thing alone for a good time not a long not time not a long time <laughs> yeah yeah and let's let's for a lot of the physical okay let's not even go deep okay mm-hmm. about sex what happens <laughs> i'm not asking you because you have experience i'm just saying <laughs> how do you know <laughs> how do you know <laughs> hmm? okay so let's talk let's just talk plainly what happens during sex okay the man giveth the woman receiveth yes. okay and some people clearly will be like ai ah ah mimi sita let's just use the layman's language mimi sita mwaga ndani sawa okay nita titatoka into so at all is exactly I'll pull out by pull out game strong strong <laughs> unajua hiyo tulilan wapi wapi <laughs> unaona gele ukiwa mtu yule wako unaingiza biscuit kwa chai ah. So una it was just before it break it break ah, that is when we learn our pull out game and the on po una it was gado okay so uh, and someone would say that my pull out game so there's no place like i may receive okay and yeah. i have give yeah. i've given right mm-hmm. but look at how it actually happens okay mm-hmm. like We, I want I want we are talking about physical. Lot of attack let's wind it deep. Let's just talk about it being physical, okay? Yeah. The woman is an entry. Okay? Mm-hmm. It's an entry point, yeah. right? And in that entry point, the man's apparator. <laughs> no, genital is the whole thing, man. Sorry. The man's apparator. Okay. <laughs> will have to get an entry yeah. to the woman right yeah. they are just if a man wants entry to the woman there's just one way yeah. okay it's yeah. that that one uh-huh. so if a man enters uh-huh. okay uh-huh. he will not just stay there uh-huh. you're getting uh-huh. he will enter come out yeah enter come out okay that you're is getting. that is very vivid I'll continue oh so sorry i'm just <laughs> trying to be very very physical like we we we're, we're going to get to the physical to the nini part okay okay so that is act, there's an entry uh-huh. and the, in that entry when when there's a let's talk about ukiingia when you kuna kuanga na entry kwa supermarket na exit yeah. entry ni ya mtu kuingia yeah. sindio and yeah. layman's language is entry i am receiving something yeah. sindio yeah. hata ukipeleka package kwa place ya parcel send your place uh-huh. unapelekanga package uh-huh. see they receive it yeah. for you right yeah. and then the, uko kuingine kwa exit they are going to give, give to the person who you are sending it to right so the woman at this particular point is an entry place mm-hmm. so she is receiving mm-hmm. right the man in this other sector well getting in to the woman means he is giving, giving to the woman we are not even talking about what he has released we are yeah. just saying that physical act right so basically there is the giving and there is the receiving, receiving right mm-hmm. and in giving and receiving the woman or the man both of them they are giving themselves okay people just bring it to a point that it's just, it's just the act man some people even go to head it's just it's just sex, sex. like put in the word don't, just never you can something very small don't over hype it don't over downgrade is just sex i mean people have it so why can't i in cars in, in cars, kitchens in toilets zakanjo <laughs> if you think i'm everywhere, joking serious zakanjo oh, wow people people are going anyway anyway oja i kazo uka uka mwacha ninge cha kanjo i relieve myself patana raba ba sipendi kuenda huko sipendi anyway so about disgusting sana sawa so that's the plain one now mm. Mm-hmm. even if this thing is happening the same way in the physical you are giving mm-hmm. and the woman is receiving yeah. okay someone let's let's say we are living in a world where we are not only confined by the physical mm-hmm. okay mm-hmm. there is the spiritual kabisa and also people saying i don't want to hear about the spiritual because you know what you're being too spiritual or whatever but both of them Go are connected yes. yes the way that you're in the physical the spiritual realm is as real as, as the that. physical right yeah, huh? so in the physical you you're just there in the act it's just sex but what is happening in the spiritual realm mm-hmm. okay mm-hmm. this man is giving you his soul yeah. okay he is giving you his spirit even if he has not 
released mm-hmm. his things, right? Mm-hmm. They are still fluids connected. Yeah. They are still the physical connected. Uh-huh. This man is giving. Mm-hmm. You as the person you are receiving. Mm-hmm. You are now becoming intertwined. Uh-huh. Okay? Uh-huh. The same thing. Let me see how <clears throat> lock and key. Okay? <laughs> it's just hypothesis. In biology, we learn that lock and key hypothesis. Uh-huh. Okay? It's usually enzymes. Yeah, this happens with enzymes and substrate. For uh-huh. an enzyme to act on the substrate, to break it down, whatever enzymes are catalyst, you understand, I'm not going to direct. It's usually in a lock and key hypothesis. That, uh-huh. And that enzyme has to fit into that substrate. Like, na ikuamie kwa your substrate until he catalyzed that substrate to be broken down so it can be absorbed by the body, okay? So it's the same thing with in the spiritual realm with this man and woman, okay? Mm-hmm. They are becoming intertwined. Okay. Their spirits and their souls are becoming intertwined. intertwined. And the man may be saying, okay, me, I'm giving to the woman, so how is how am I being affected? The fact that you have gotten an entry, you have gotten an entry to her soul. True. Yeah. True. And now you're becoming bonded or bound to her soul or oh. her spirit, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. And that is where soul ties come about. So someone would be thinking, this is just casual sex. This is just sex. You know, I'm just getting, get out, go to another person, getting, get out. But someone does not realize because the Bible intended for sex to be for married people that you, Adam knew Eve and they conceived. Mm -hmm. Knew, it means they had to come together. They had to be one. One. You understand? And that is why it was meant for married because in marriage, you're going to stick to that one person. You're going to stay with that one person, right? So right now, if I am with this person, I've just had casual sex with this one person, I am bound to them. Mm -hmm. If I go to this other girl, I'm bound to them. Mm -hmm. If as a girl go to this other man, I'm bound to him. So some people do not realize that later on in life, some things may be affecting them. They're like, what is actually happening they don't realize it's, uh, it's been all these men so you might be going to the altar marrying this one man but actually behind you you have 17 men 17 husbands okay. right yeah, yeah. you see when jesus went with the woman uh went Preach. to the well no i'm just saying he went to the well uh-huh. with this uh to meet the samaritan woman right jesus asked this woman where is your husband Mm-hmm. Where is your husband? Or mm-hmm. come with your husband? Mm-hmm. This woman said, I do not have, though she had been with five men. Okay. Why did Jesus ask her that? Because the fact that she has been with these five men in the spiritual realm, in the f- physical, people agree that being married is that you have to take me to the altar or to the AG or to the chief, put a ring on it, and then we are married. That's the physical. But in the spiritual,